There are two ways through life. The way of nature and the way of grace. You have to choose which one you'll follow. We're alligators. You'll be grown before that tree is tall. Tree of Life, which is up for a uh, three Academy Award for directing, best picture, cinematography, uh, is, the, is actually uh, an epic poem directed by Terrence Malick. And the uh, theme of the film kind of is concerns uh, nature versus grace. Um, the two are represented essentially by, first, dinosaurs, secondly, Brad Pitt, and uh, the, the wife in the film, and he plays the dad. Um, it's, it's the story of them raising the three kids and how, they're, how they deal with that. And also, it's kind of non-linear because it jumps a lot, and uh, Sean Penn plays their eldest son in the future. In the future, yes. And he does a lot of, he spends a lot of time in the film staring out of windows and kind of brooding and talking on a cell phone. <laughs> um, all the signs of good acting. All, like, that's all you really need to do mm -hmm. when you're Sean Penn and rescue Haiti. Um, but anyway, I, I liked, I wanted to like the film. I thought it was beautifully photographed. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I kept expecting a linear story and I think 20 minutes into it, I felt like there was gonna be a story at yeah. some point and then 20 minutes pass again. You're like, there's dinosaurs, but there wasn't a story. <laughs> there was cool visual effects, mm -hmm. uh, which they, uh, had uh, actually got the guy who did 2001 Space Odyssey, uh, the effects in that film, and he hadn't done a movie in like 30 years. Yeah, uh, Terrence had asked Douglas Trumbull to do the, the visual effects because he didn't, he wanted them to be kind of like old school, like how uh, Trumbull did. And those look great. And then it switched to this really terrible CG. Um, it reminded me of like that old Disney movie, Dinosaur. Yeah. Remember that one? Yeah. It was just like, I, I think that I just thought it was they just like re you appropriated those clips yeah, for use like, in that. I don't know. And I mean, I, I I really like the movie too. Like it's um, the way like you said the way that it's shot. It's just it's really just it's so it's so different from every other thing that's nominated for best picture. Right, right. Because um, like you can you look at it compared to movies like The Help and uh, The Artist. Like they're not. It's on a completely different scale. Like yeah. It's hard to compare. It's those. hard to even call it a film. It's like. Because it's a you know called an epic poem, I mean it's it's like calling Beowulf a book or a novel. You mm -hmm. know it, it just doesn't it just doesn't compute. Yeah, I was I was honestly surprised that this like I, I went into the movie not really knowing that much about it. I knew Brad Pitt was in it. That was about it. Um, but like it was like what you said like 20 minutes into it, I was like, where is this going? And then and then it's like two hours in, and you're still like. <laughs> <laughs> there was, there and was. It's still not over. It's and not you over. Tear your hair out slightly. <laughs> but I mean, it's still like it's so original, and I definitely could see why it was nominated for best cinematography and best directing. Um, for best picture, I definitely don't think it's going to win for no. best picture because it's just like I feel like they nominated it purely for just like the visuals. Yeah. But if anything, that would would be why it would win. It's not Malik's best. I like almost all of his movies except this one. Really? Um, yeah, I, like because I loved like Thin Red Line and then uh, Days of Heaven and stuff. Like his early work was fantastic, mm -hmm. um, and even the New World, I thought that was great. And that was a similar approach and just a lot of like no dialogue. It's like 25 words in the whole film. It's just like Pocahontas and John Smith just staring deeply into each other's eyes, and I like, basically it's like Twilight. Exactly. <laughs> yes, but only not terrible. Yeah. So I didn't really see the point of like Sean Penn, like you said, like all he was doing was just like. He was just doing like a 21 grams character. Yeah. He was just like, just like sitting there and uh, just kind of staring off. Living in a nice house, working in a very nice building. But he's still upset. Ugh. Right. Well, because he followed his dad's path of mm -hmm. the path of, uh, of nature and, and uh, the, the softer, the nicer boy who followed the path of grace, uh, you know, he was the one that died. So, spoiler alert. <laughs> Uh, basically, you should check it out. It's worth a watch um, purely because it's it's so like different from everything else you'll see nominated for Academy Awards this season, and even just movies in general. Yeah, it's it, it's ridiculous. But we definitely don't think it's going to win Best Picture. Maybe cinematography, 
Uh, but beyond that, I think it's, um, it's on DVD right now, so check it out. Um, and also check it out, the limited release for theaters. Um, but yeah, 